Heat pumps are a proven technology and a big part in reducing our reliance on fossil fuels. But if you're looking to get one, where should you start? Welcome to the Everything Electric Show. In today's episode, I'm going to be going through the key elements I would consider before installing a heat pump. So what is a heat pump? Simply put, it takes air from outside and then makes it into a more usable temperature to heat your central heating system indoors. A little bit like a fridge working in reverse. Heat pumps are incredibly efficient. For every one kilowatt you put in, you'll get three to four kilowatts out, opposed to a gas boiler where you put one kilowatt in and you'll just get one kilowatt out. There are two types of air source heat pump. There's the air to water heat pump, which takes air from the outside and then heats the water in your wet system in your house. So that would be your radiators or your underfloor heating. And then you have the air to air system. And that takes the air from the outside and then heats the air on the inside through convectors. Ground source heat pumps work in the same way as the air source heat pumps. Apart from instead of taking the energy from the air, they're taking it from coils or boreholes in the ground. They're usually used on larger properties and typically fall under permitted development rights, but always check with your council first. Heat pumps work best in insulated homes, so before you start your project, make sure you insulate your home as best you can before installation. Heat pumps can still work in older properties, but as a general rule, it's insulation before installation. If you don't want all the heat leaking out of your house, then make sure you watch our Leaky House episode. Is your home suitable for an air source heat pump? The first thing you need to do is have a full heat loss calculation done to make sure you're getting the right size heat pump for your property. Air source heat pumps are quite large items and sometimes can come in two parts, an outdoor unit and an indoor unit, called split systems. The outdoor unit will need to have a lot of space around it to allow air to flow away and the indoor unit will need to be located indoors as it's not waterproof. Air source heat pumps can also be a little invasive in terms of installation. Sometimes you may need to remove carpets and floorboards to gain access to pipework. If you're replacing an existing boiler, you may need to think about pipework alterations. Sometimes it'd be a few alterations and other times you may need to replace all of your pipework. Don't forget the fully charged live events in 2023 featuring the Home Energy Advice Team where you can have a one-on-one -on -one session with an expert to go through your future plans. Make sure you book your session as soon as you arrive as the heat experts are very popular. A common question we get asked is should you replace your radiators when you install a heat pump? Sometimes you can keep your radiators if they're sized correctly, but most of the time you will need to replace them due to the low flow temperature of the heat pumps, meaning you'll need to have a larger surface area to meet the heat demand in those rooms. Other things to consider is that your heat pump runs on electricity so you will need to have a dedicated supply to the heat pump. You may also need to think about upgrading your fuse board or adding a new one. You may also want to consider space for things such as the buffer tank, cylinder and solar diverter. All these things can work with the heat pump. Getting an approved installer is the best option. You can find an MCS credited installer on the MCS website. You can also see reviews from these installers on the Trustpilot website. Always remember to get three quotes before going ahead and choose the one that's best for you. And again, word of mouth isn't always a bad thing. So if someone's had a good job and they recommend them, why not check them out? Lastly, there are some incentives for air source heat pumps. You can get the boiler upgrade scheme, which is an upfront £5,000 payment for an air source heat pump. You can get £6,000 upfront payment for a ground source heat pump. To qualify, you must have an EPC within 10 years or below and you must also have loft insulation and cavity wall insulation. They also benefit from 0% VAT. I hope you found this overview of heat pumps helpful, and if in doubt, remember your installer is there to help you step by step through the process. Do like, subscribe, and comment to the Everything Electric show. And as always, if you have been, thanks for watching.